We can. Hey there, guys. PJJ Report. Finn Hanley. Brandon Hanley. Finn says he doesn't want to be a part of this one. And uh, I think I'm going to bring the BJJ Report to. It's going to be sponsored in part by... You know, what do you do when you know you, you want your kid to do something with you and they don't want to do it with you? I mean, do you force it? I don't, I don't think so. You know, I don't want him to... I don't want Finn to jump on to the BJ report if he doesn't want to. I'm not forcing the point. Uh, same thing with like Liam. And uh, you know, I would love it if he was doing uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's back there, Meg. Meg, Finn, show your head. There you go. <laughs> Where's my child? You know, what do you do when, when your child doesn't really want to do the same things as you? You don't force it. Um, you don't You don't force it because you, there's going to be a point when maybe they do want to do it and you don't want them to have a bad memory of, of all that time when you said uh, you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to do it. Uh, you don't you don't want that to happen. And again, that's that's how it is with with uh, Liam and I where or Liam and us when we say, hey, uh, you know, if you don't want to do jujitsu, then uh don't do jiu-jitsu, hang out and do something else. We've got flag football with Liam later today. Uh, and, you know, he currently says he doesn't want to do that so much, but, and, and this is like the same thing too. Uh, you know, he signed up for it. We want him to give it a chance. I think there's something to be said with that too, right? Uh, if he does it a few more times and he still doesn't want to do it, we got the jersey, right? And, uh, you know, the thing is we want to give him the opportunities to succeed in a way that is, is comfortable for him there's always still look there's always discomfort in the things that uh you don't want to do and being uncomfortable get you know get comfortable being uncomfortable is like the mantra of the day but is that really 100 percent necessary uh at age six right is it is it necessary at uh age nine ten to be like well you know just go do it and get get comfortable being uncomfortable you, you know what that doesn't really have to be the way uh, I was talking a little bit earlier to a buddy of mine. You might know him. Uh, he's taking a big shot at getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, that's Phil Halfpenny, who's you know starting up his own uh, coaching and, and stepping into you know doing what he thinks is the right thing to do. And he mentioned the word grind. You know, he's like, you know, sometimes you just got to grind it out. It's part of the grind. And I asked him. I said, you know, is it really a grind though? Is it really a grind? It's kind of like um. I know it, it, it is actually kind of like watching grass grow. Uh, it's it's, it's a, any plant that you grow, though. Uh, any Anything that you plant and you nurture and you watch it for a little bit, the only thing that's a grind is waiting for what you know is going to happen. As I look around right now, it's spring here, here in uh, New Jersey. The trees are starting to bloom and blossom and turn green. And, you know, it wasn't a grind to make that happen. It took some time. And it was going to happen whether or not I told it to or pushed on it, but it wasn't a grind. And I think that sometimes we we um, we consider the time that it takes for something to develop a grind because we're impatient. It's going to happen. All you got to do is be there, stick with it, and keep doing it. And it's going to happen. So I asked Phil, I said, is it really a grind? He goes, you know what? Not really. It's, it's not a grind. It's a it's, uh, it's more exciting than anything else, and that's the truth of the matter. That's the same with jujitsu. Um, you know, some people do grind it out. Uh, some people are in there every day, all day, every day. Can you? <laughs> I couldn't hear you until just right now. Uh, just rewind, Kelly. Thanks. I'm gonna need you to take that belt off your neck. Not yet. Um, th thanks for your support. Mm. It's not a grind. Um, you can say that you can, you can, you can interpret it that way though. You can interpret every little thing that you're doing as a grind and hard work and all this effort that you're pushing into it. Or you can look at it as, um, you know, as nurturing it, as being there, as kind and loving and, and at least being supportive of it. Right. Uh, you're there for that moment. If you look at it as a grind, then it is a grind. It's really just your own interpretation. If you want to, if you want to, at the end of the day, come out, you know, just like you know, coming out of jujitsu right now, 
and, and you're sweating and you're all dog tired. You're like, that was a grind. And he goes, no pain, no gain. You can, you can, you can say that. And it, that's exactly what it is for you. Or, you know, you can come out and you're like, you know, that was totally awesome. And, uh, you know, I invested a lot of energy in, in that moment. And God, I'm reaping the rewards of, of being there because of my time spent there of, uh, again, my time invested there. And I really enjoyed like every moment of becoming uh, a four stripe white belt. I'm not grinding it out. I'm not. A lot of people, uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, I mean, you can ask Meg, it's, uh, this week's been uh, a little bit rougher than usual. And when I say rough, it just hasn't been ideal, right? Anything outside of the ideal is kind of like, ugh. And then, you know, I, towards the end of the week, I came across a saying that it's like the husk that contains the seed, right? It, whatever's, whatever has died around everything else becomes the seed. And it's that new fresh seed that you've got, that new idea that you plant. And, and, and you get, the, again, the opportunity to sit back and watch it grow patiently and just enjoy every moment as it's happening versus the struggle, this constant grind because you're not where you think you want to be. And I, I guarantee you, the moment that you get to where you think you gotta be, that you grind it all the way out and you get there. You can be like, okay, now what? Now I gotta grind out the next section. There's no joy in grinding things out. I, I don't find joy in grinding it out. And that's okay, man, that's me. If you personally enjoy the struggle, you enjoy the grind, then grind it out. I'm telling you that I don't think that it's a grind. I think that it's exciting. I think that it's a great time to be alive. I think you should check out what half, uh, Phil Halfpenny's up to. Um, you should really go over to, what is it, philhalfpenny.com. Uh, He's the only Phil Halfpenny out there. You should see, you know, what what is it that is exciting for Phil? Like, he has decided to embrace and enjoy life and step into who he is. And it's not a grind. It's, he's he's 100 right. It's more exciting than anything else. When once you've decided to embrace, you know who you are, and pursue that, there is no grind. You all have a grind. Kelly, can you see your, or Meg? Can you guys post Phil's site and tag Phil? Do you fact tag Phil? Um, he uh, he's just doing really great things, guys. It's not a grind. Jiu-jitsu not a grind you go in there you just look forward to it life is not a grind if you're grinding your life you're you're wasting away there are other easier ways to go about it and uh, you know if you're having difficulty with that concept with that idea reach out to me Reach out to somebody. Reach out to somebody who's exploring that. Who like let's make life a little bit easier for you. How can we, you know, how can we do that for you? What is it that you need that would make this idea presentable, right? What what you know, I asked my friend Jeremy Todd the other week. I said he's like he's like, hey, I don't get it. I don't like I don't know if I understand it like this. I said, Well, would you like if it if it were in blue? You know, what 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 is the package that makes sense to you? Will you finally decide that getting out of your own way to live the life that you want to live in a way that's like meaningful and purposeful and just fulfilling for you, what does that look like? You know, can you can you can you see a life like that without it having to be a grind? Um, and you know. That, that, again, that's not how I'm going to raise the children either. It's not how we're raising the children. We're not trying to grind them into any situation. We're not trying to force them into a situation and say, mm, you've got to grind it out because that's just how life is. Because I disagree. Life has never been that way. Has life ever been less than ideal? It may have seemed so at times, right? And and that's my own damn fault for not seeing the opportunity that's being presented. I had a great conversation this morning where I reflected back to 20 years ago where uh, one Bill Farmer came up to me in uh, Aetna as I was working a corporate job in my early 20s and says, hey, Brandon, when are you going to come work in sales with me? I said, Bill, you know, when, 
when I'm ready, man. I, and I'm just not ready right now, Bill. I always look back at that moment and I say, you know what? That was a huge opportunity I let go. But recognizing when one opportunity goes and you recognize the fact that there's going to be more of those. There's always, you are always, always in the right place at the right time. There's an opportunity right in front of you. And to recognize that. If you've let one go by, then at least you know what it looks like. You can see it again. All right? It's like fluffy little white clouds. You know what they look like? If you see another one, there's another one. Right? Anyways, guys, Phil Halfpenny has uh, been, been, you know, again, doing some really awesome, exciting things. I want you to check out what it looks like to live a life of excitement. I also want you to, if you're grinding things out, if life is just a challenge and difficult, I don't think that it has to be that way. Talk to me. Talk to Phil. Talk to Dave. Talk to, you know, Gerald Pimple. Talk to somebody. Find a group. Facebook group, uh, a, a local group. I mean, because guess what, guys? These things are local as well. There's all kinds of groups and people that you can talk to where life isn't a grind. So, ha <laughs> ha! Until the next one.